guys, we're back. Kingsmith is still lit. So we're just waiting for the holiday train. Um, it's dead. It's like packed. Like we're gonna ride like the old train. I love trains. I'm so fascinated. That's my. This is like in New York. Um, there's a museum, a transit museum. It's like my favorite museum. So I was like, I have to do this. But yeah, say hey, Arthur. Hey Arthur. Hey. Ar See, you never want to be participate. But um, yeah, we're just waiting for the train. It's late, but it's Sunday. And today is always late on Sunday. But it's like dead past. If you're ever in New York during the holidays, you have to take a ride on their Benton subway card. Um, this was really exciting for me because when I was younger, I used to go to the transit museum and I always wondered how it would be to take a vintage train. So I really uh, was glad that I got this opportunity. And it's only $2.75 a Metro card swipe away. So I really encourage you to definitely take the ride. I know it's crowded, but that's because we took the last train. If you go earlier in the day, it's not that crowded. So I don't want to discourage you guys because it's crowded, but it was super fun. Guys, it's so crowded. Look at it. It's like I don't know, can you even hear me? But it's, it's really like crowded. But it's so, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so it's really, really crowded on this train, you guys. I didn't think it would be so crowded. I want you guys to see more. This is so, it's exciting though. It's like, how people liked in the train back in the day. No AC, selling fans, and stuff like that. And people were just like the time, 1930s. Wardrobe. Hold on, 381. I don't have any. Oh, we go can't close, you guys. Can't close. <laughs> oh, back in the day. They, back in the day. That makes sense. I was wondering why he was out of the door. Back in the day. I'm going to need to get it now. Oh, okay, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I have to get out of the so here's a fun fact, he is standing by the door because back in the day they did not have automatic doors. Like, that's crazy. Someone's job was to just open and close the train doors. Can you imagine having that now? Woo! This is a ride. You can have some fun dancing. Um, so you're just going to see that right now. We're dancing, have some fun. And there's like a time period, like 30s. Okay, so Arthur and I just finished the ride. It was so much fun. It was quick though, very, very quick. So if you're in New York, you can do that for the holidays. Every Sunday, Where's the old train. Also, yeah. okay, so that's it right now. We're getting on the train now. And we're going to Rockefeller Center to look at the tree and go to Saks Fifth Avenue and look at the light show. Oh, you're on my jacket. Oh yeah, that should be fun. Okay, so we just got off the train. We're at Rockefeller Center. So we're gonna check out the tree and then Saks Fifth Avenue. They always have like a light show and then they do their windows for the holidays. So we're just gonna check that out. Then we're done for the day. You're gonna see me tomorrow. So yeah. <laughs> It is so packed, you guys. Look, look at this. It's not 
this crowded everywhere you go in New York. It's just like the tourist areas. So that's why people be like, New York is so crowded. Well, it depends where you, you go. Because like, if you live in a residential area, it's not like this. This is like, you know, where businesses are. People live around here. It's the rich, but I wouldn't want to live around here, even if I was rich, because it's just so packed. It's just truly, truly packed. But we're going to see the train. The train. <laughs> we just did that. Now I'm out of focus. There we go. So, um, yeah, my camera was going out of focus, so I'm back. So I don't remember what I was saying, but yeah, we're gonna go see the tree. And then after the tree, I'm going home. I'm gonna go to Panera Bread. I love the broccoli cheddar soup. Um, but yeah, oh, this is what it's like being a tourist for the day in New York City. Because on a regular day, I wouldn't do this, but I'm just doing this for the vlog. <laughs> it's like, let me just do something outside because I've been filming inside all week. So I was like, let's go out, Arthur. Okay, so that was the tree, and that's it. Like, people just come here for a great picture. I came here last year by myself, because I was single. I knew Arthur, though. We were friends, but I didn't ask him. I didn't want to hang out with him that day. You know how it is. Um, but yeah, now we're a couple when we're here. Look at the tree. This is a huge tree. Yep. That's what it's like being a tourist. So in fact, let's go. Let's go out. <laughs> That's my story. Yeah. I see. I wait, where do we find it? I, 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 I don't know. How is it the same size every day? Every year? I don't know, Arthur. It's too late. Why are you asking me questions? Like, I know, like. Wait, like, I'll be with them um, cutting the tree down. <laughs> Like, why would you ask me that? Go down there and look at it. Like, why would you it's ask me? Like a light show. Because really I figured awesome. if you came by, if I came by here no. by myself, yeah, I would do all the facts. You, you think you think I know all the facts? Hey. You see how crowded it is? Come here by yourself. You gotta learn something. No, I learned not to come by myself. That's what I learned. Learn something. <laughs> Enjoy being a tourist for the day.